15 Tips for New Drivers That You Can't Learn in a Driving School Even the most experienced drivers don't always know all the nuances that can make driving easier. And of course, if you are a new driver, you can save yourself a lot of time and trouble if you know some very simple but crucial driving tips. How to Eliminate Blind Spots How do you know when to stop as you are parallel parking? What should you never do before making a left turn? Brightside explains how to feel at ease when driving, learn to avoid dangerous situations, and become a confident driver. Wouldn't you mind getting all those answers? Then give this video a like and watch it till the end. Every tip we are going to share is very important, so you'd better not miss any of them. Number 15. Get to know your vehicle Many new drivers are so excited about getting their first car, all they want to do is drive drive and maybe take their friends for a ride to show them that new shining set of wheels and make them jealous. Sounds like something you wanted to do? You will have time and opportunity for that, but the first most important thing is to get to know your vehicle. Believe us, when you hit the roads, you will have many things to worry about rather than finding the switches for your front and rear fog lights or your hazard light button. See it as getting ready for an important exam. The more time you take preparing for it and the better you know the material, the less stress you will have during the exam. Plus, in case you are pulled over, the police might ask you to show everything is properly functioning in your car, and if you fail to do it, they are unlikely going to be happy about it. So sit in your car and examine it. Make sure you know what every button and control is for. Then, and only then, you will be ready to drive safely. Number 14. Check if all your mirrors are adjusted correctly. If your mirrors aren't adjusted correctly, a blind spot appears. A blind spot is a part of the road that you can't see so that you may miss a car traveling in an adjacent traffic lane. To eliminate blind spots, adjust your side view mirrors so that you can't see your car in them. To check if there is a blind spot, drive past another parked car in reverse, looking in your side view mirror. As soon as it's out of the picture, you should see it with your peripheral vision. The rear view mirror must be adjusted so that you can see the back window of your car entirely. When adjusting the mirrors, you should be in your normal driving position. Number 13. Don't drive in someone else's blind spot. We know you are smart and careful enough to always check your blind spot, but see, there are many people on the road. Quite a lot of them just ignore the blind spot rule, and they change lanes driving fast without properly looking or thinking of others. So, what is the best thing you can do to ensure your safety? If you find yourself in a dangerous position, change it. A dangerous position is when you are driving along to the right and slightly behind another vehicle you are likely to be in their blind spot, so they don't see you. You can try going faster to be alongside or get in front of that car. If you are not ready to speed up and rush in front of other vehicles yet, try doing the opposite and slow down and drop back a bit so that they can see you in their mirrors. It takes a village, or more like a highway, to ensure safe driving for everyone. Number 12. Learn to feel where the wheels are. If you want to avoid potholes on the road, you need to learn to feel where the wheels are. Feeling your vehicle is the key to being able to control it and it is crucially important for safe driving. Some people are just natural at it, but for most of us, who are not, there is an easy but useful trick to practice. Take an empty plastic bottle, step on it with your foot, and put it on the road. Practice driving over it with your left and right front wheels in turn. Open the window to hear the bottle crunch. With enough practice, you will learn to feel where your wheels go. Number 11. Park guided by your windows and mirrors. What was the hardest thing to learn at driving school? Parallel parking? It's the answer many people give. If you are one of them, click thumbs up. See, you are not alone. We believe your driving instructor was patient and competent enough to teach you how to do it properly. However, you most likely still feel confused when it comes to the thing. When should I stop the car not to scratch it? Here are two essential tips which are guaranteed to help you. When perpendicular parking, stop once you see the curb under the side mirror. This way, the distance between the car and the curb will be minimal, and you won't scratch the bumper. When parallel parking, make sure you don't scratch the hubcaps. Stick a piece of colored duct tape to the bottom of the windshield. Stop once the mark matches the curb line. It's better to parallel park in reverse. This way, the curb is visible in the side view mirrors so that you won't be too close to it. Number 10. Learn to drive in bad weather. How do you feel about driving on ice or during a heavy rain or snow? Terrified? Then try it! As crazy as it sounds, it is a skill you have to master. And the best way to do it is practice. 
You never know what might happen and when you are going to have to drive in bad weather conditions, so it is better to be prepared. The best thing about practicing is that you can choose the time and place to do it. You will get to feel how braking distances are increased, and the opposite happens to your grip, so you will know you have to change something about your driving style to conquer any rough weather. Just drive in a quiet neighborhood for the first time. Bad weather also affects it, but you will feel less scared to get into trouble. Number 9. Dry your brakes after driving through a puddle. Before even the smallest of puddles, you'd better slow down and go through it smoothly without maneuvering or changing speed. If you drive quickly, there is a chance of water getting into the ignition system and making the engine stall. Besides, aquaplaning might start, that's when a car loses traction and you lose control of it. After passing a big puddle, don't cut your engine and don't change your speed. Dry the brakes first, pressing the gas pedal, press the brake pedal a few times. Friction causes heat, so water evaporates from the brake pads. Number 8. Watch out for the maneuvers of taller cars in front of you. Watch out not only for the car right in front of you, but also for those further down the road. Drivers of taller vehicles, trucks and buses, see road situations much more clearly. If they start to change lanes all at once, it's likely that they saw a car accident or a different kind of roadblock. Follow suit and change lanes too. This little trick is pretty easy, and it only requires your attention, but it can do you much good. Number 7. If the car doesn't start, turn the high beams on. In the times of global climate change, you never know where and when winter might come after you. Sometimes in winter, the car just won't start on the first try. It is not a reason to panic, call for help, or use public transportation instead. Before you give it a try, heat your car battery by turning the high beams on. The radio or the indicator can work too. Number 6. Lower your rear view mirror at night. Many drivers don't know that a standard rear view mirror has two modes, day mode and night mode. To avoid being blinded by a car behind you, change the angle of the mirror by pulling down the lever under it. Number 5. Turn on the air conditioner. Even when you don't use the air conditioner, for example in winter, turn it on regularly for a short period of time. Otherwise, the coolant will seep out and the tubes will be dry. Number 4. Use the handbrake regularly. Even if you don't do angle parking, use the handbrake regularly to keep it alive. The only exception is very cold weather. In such conditions, you'd better avoid using the handbrake so that the brake pads don't freeze. Number 3. If a car in the neighboring lane is slowing down, follow suit. While people often do irrational things that can't be explained, it is okay sometimes to follow their lead. For example, if you see a car in the neighboring lane slowing down, you should do the same. It's likely that the driver wants to let a pedestrian or an animal pass. Number 2. Don't let the illusion of low speed deceive you. On a straight road, the speed seems to be two times lower than it really is. It makes you want to speed up to give your vehicle a chance to show its full power. And yes, to show others you are not afraid of fast driving. Remember, you are going at a fine speed. It's just an illusion that makes you think you are way too slow. And even that speed is too much for a turn. If you don't slow down before taking a turn, the car may begin to skid. Number 1. Don't turn the wheels beforehand when making a left turn. We made it to the top of our list. Here is one important rule you should never ignore. It's dangerous to turn the wheels in advance before making a left turn. They must be in the initial position. If a car hits you from the back, you might be thrown into the opposite lane where hitting other cars will be inevitable. Drive safely. Make sure to share this video with your friends. They will thank you for it. If you liked it, let us know using the special thumbs up button. If this video gets 50,000 likes, we'll share more secrets for drivers. Stay on the bright side. Stay on.